It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Project Eden's Garden. There we go. When we left off, <laughs> I could have kept Let's going. Dig into it. When we left off, we're about to dig into it and probably make like those comic panel things that we always do at the end. <laughs> yes. It's time to bring this trial to an end. It's time for the closing argument. Yes. During closing argument, you must summarize the case from start to finish. Naturally, your medium will be a comic book. Since the class has a relatively good understanding of the case, some parts of the comic are already complete. But it seems your peers have glossed over the smaller details, judging by those gaps in the story. God damn it. To fill these gaps, you have been provided a collection of stock panels. Use WASD keys to navigate your stock and press the space bar to select the panel. Cover your mouse over the relevant gap and press the left key to insert the panel. What? If you wish to undo your selection, simply press the space bar again. Don't forget the Q and E keys. Those are how you flip between pages. My voice is going around the place. Don't mind me. <laughs> By the way, a gas will reveal a hint if you hover over it. If you ever need to revisit this information, the control panel is only one effort key away. Now stand okay. up straight and fix that tie. We got a case to close. There's something wrong with this narrator. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so let's see. Where did the killer hide? Do we have that unlocked yet? Uh, in the janitor's closet. Yeah. No, that's where they hid. No well, waste. There we go. Uh, this next one. What was the victim carrying? Going up a step ladder. Opening the door. That one's not there yet. Let's go over mm. here. What do we got? How did the killer reach the door frame? Step ladder. Correct. It's there, right? There we go. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. What's this one? The killer poured in the bucket. An assault rifle. They poured, <laughs> they poured an assault rifle in. No. Um, got to get these controls under wrap. How's the trap triggered? Was opening, opening the door. The door. There we go. Nice. All right. Now it's over such here. chill music. <laughs> uh, what did the victim do when they were stabbed? Claw the killer's neck. Yep. There's that. And we got the other one here. So, bleach it in the bucket. There and we go. We're just going to go over here. Assault rifle. Assault rifle. All right. Nice. I got it. I got it. This is the story. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Can't use that. Nope. The victim was Kara Koshkinen, the ultimate teacher's aide. Right before her death, she was wandering around the academy, carrying a large assault rifle. That was probably when our unnamed killer, who was armed with a knife, spotted her. And decided he'd put her to eternal rest. He slid inside that little janitor's closet, where he began hatching a deadly scheme. It's interesting having other people uh, chime in. They yeah. They needed a way to surprise the victim, who was better armed. The killer grabbed a bottle of bleach from the closet and poured its contents into a bucket. That's because they wanted to blind Kara by splashing the bleach in her eyes. Sneaky little bastard. <laughs> clunk, clunk, clunk. But to do that, they would need to set a trap and catch the victim by surprise. The killer moved a stepladder behind the closet door and climbed up it to reach the door frame. There, they carefully placed the bucket. That yeah, we're real careful with that. Yeah. When the victim the door, the bucket would empty its contents all over her. Lose your balance, fall off the stepladder, drop the bleach on you. Ah! And then you get revealed and you get shot 20 times with the gun. <laughs> After completing the setup, the killer retreated to the far end of the janitor's closet and waited for the victim's arrival. Well, there was only one bullet in it, right? No, I was just saying that it was never fired. Mm. I think it was saying that the the it was full. The killer could have made noise to attract the victim's attention. Either way, the victim tried to open the door. Oh. Um. <laughs> God. And, um, the bleach splashed all over her. Her scalp face and eyes were severely burned. That would suck. Yo! Yeah, <laughs> that. The killer but 27 more times. Yeah. Viciously attacking Kara. 
<laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. In his fit of rage and cruelty, he stabbed her from the front 28 times. That's so many times. While being stabbed, the victim tried to fight back by clawing at the killer. This left the dried blood under her fingernails. However, it didn't deter the killer, and the victim eventually died. At present, we don't have enough information to reveal the killer's true identity. But their actions haven't been forgotten. One of us. One <laughs> of us. The truth behind this case. That would be interesting. Well, it's us. Are you satisfied? A measly three acts. Poor horse would be beside himself. Um, who the hell is? No one cares. We've done your end of the bargain. Now let us out already. That is what I promised, isn't it? All right, I'll let you leave this room. Ah, but before I do, may I be frank with you all for a second? Is that, that your name? name? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> wow, that was terrifying. <laughs> wow! <laughs> In stereo. This entire time, I've been hiding behind a speaker, afraid to show my face. My heart tells me you'll react cruelly to it. Okay. However, my head... It raises a compelling argument. Who cares what others think? Shouldn't I get to have a little fun once in a while? Okay. Yes. Let's do away with these silly boundaries already. It's time we meet face to face. Face to face? <laughs> what was that all about? Everybody, look over there. What? Whoa. Okay. Hello. Sheep man. <laughs> Toss away those pickaxes, peasants. The walls have finally crumbled. What will you do now that you've reached the other side? Will you treasure this new land? Serve it? Hell of a costume. Or will you set it ablaze? Well, peasants. Have you made your choice? You're so aggressive now. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> this person, his voice. Are, are you the speaker guy? Speaker guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You don't address your superiors like that. Within the halls of this academy, you'll refer to me by one name and one name only. His Highness, the great and powerful Tozu, host of the Killing Game. Interesting. But killing Game? Woo. <laughs> Nani? Nani the fuck? Well done. Oh, you can call me Tozu for short. Hey, hey uh, uh, what do you mean, Killing the Game? The show must go on. Did you really think the story would end once we reached the climax of the case? Quite the contrary, this is only the beginning. That's... Of what? Why the long phase? Isn't <laughs> it obvious? You, my dear subordinates... My blood is rushing! ...are going to kill each other! Uh... <laughs> that's like... That's not... Come on. That's not funny. But, but then... But you said we could go home if we solved the mystery. Mm -hmm. I gave you peasants an incentive. Somebody thought you took it the wrong way. What? What are you talking about? You lied to us! Rubbish. Lie? No, 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 absolutely not. I'm a fair man, a man sworn to the truth, if I recall correctly. Did you all agree on the right answer? You'd be free to leave this... Yeah, this... That's my process. I'm gonna leave this room. Oh, leave this room. I specifically said you could leave this room, not go home. You... You sneaky son of a bitch! Not okay! That's... You're full of shit, man! Uh, uh, uh. There you go, losing control of your voice. That's how you know you've lost the argument. Logic is a cowardly thing like that. It'll jump ship the moment it's confronted with a challenge. He didn't lie, did he? No. He said he never lies. So when he said this was Eden's Garden Academy. Uh, bullshit! What am I doing here believing someone like him? There's no other way around it. He's lying. Dude! Hey, why didn't you tell us about your dumb game sooner? And watch you peasants run away. Pathetic. <laughs> Can't host a game without you. Without any contestants. Please don't. Please don't do this. I just want to I... go home. Yeah. I just want to be with my family. Please, just let me go There's home. There's no need to worry. 
There's no need to cry, Miss Talner. Uh, huh? We're all civilized here. No one is going to kill simply because they've been ordered to. What's this? The peasant has a rebuttal? Let's see. A match between unprepared, unfit players. You can hardly call that a match. In much the same way this game you've proposed, a killing game between students who don't have the heart to kill. Nonsense. Do you seriously think we'll abandon our morals so quickly? Hey! Uh, yeah, yeah, that's totally right. We're like super boring people. We don't have what it takes to do something like that. Indeed. My heart is terribly soft. Softer than the most delicate piece of mochi. When I see a fly in my room, I catch the poor deer in a jar and return her to nature. I would never! My mochi heart would melt otherwise. Mm, I see, I see. Hmm. That's your argument, is it? How interesting. So, what has you so convinced? Huh? What do you mean? What makes you think the people in this room lack the heart to kill? Do you even know anything about them besides their names and ultimate talents? Pathetic. If you do, then tell me. Regarding killing, where do they stand? Are they okay with murder if it's for the greater good? Are they okay with murder if it guarantees their survival? Is there... Is... Is where they currently stand the issue on... On the issue the same as where they're willing to stand? Come on. Give it a couple hours to get to know everyone. There's plenty of time to learn their life stories, right? Hmm. <sighs> Should I take that as a no? Goodness, what a surprise. What twist? Not! <laughs> he wouldn't be here all dressed up in that fancy suit if he were so naive. Such a spoil sport. Oh, and one more thing. That trial you just did, that was your preparation for the killing game. Get out. How? All you did was make us play detective. What twist? <laughs> and for good reason. One of you did it. <laughs> hey. If one of you is killed... The remaining students will participate in the true class trial. The objective here is simple. Uncover the culprit if you can. Using evidence you've gathered during the investigation, you will argue who you believe committed the murder. The result will be decided by popular vote. If you choose the right person, they alone will be executed and the killing game will continue. However, if you choose the wrong person, the guilty party will be set free and the rest of you will be executed instead. Those are the rules of the game. Everyone understand? Yes. <laughs> All too much. <laughs> All of us will be executed? That's not fair! Isn't this lovely? I really think it's one of the most beautiful rules! Everyone has an incentive to participate in the game, innocent or otherwise. What's happening? Uh, that's insane. You're treating us like pigs to slaughter. Such disrespect. Nonsense. All of you have the chance to survive this game. Do you think the common butcher is so merciful? Mm -hmm. By the way, if no guilty party ever escapes, the killing game will end when there are only two students left. You want to remember that, or maybe you don't care. Depends on what kind of person you are. Of the 16 people here, only two will be allowed to survive? No shot. Two people. That's hardly better than if someone gets away with murder. Well done. <laughs> I know, that's what makes it so funny. Most of you will die no matter what, and yet... With every passing trial, you'll all cling to life more desperately. The show must go on. And that exact mindset is what causes more murders to happen. Are these rules simply brilliant? A perfect test of the limits of human compassion? I have an appetite can't for wait to destruction. <laughs> I can't wait to see what all of you are, all of you in action. <laughs> um. The madman's loud, tinnitus-inducing laughter was suddenly cut off by a well-timed strike from behind. Oh? Oh! I've said it a million times, you mangy fucking mutt! I want nothing to do oh, with this no. stupid game! Yeah, I am also saying oh, oh no right no. now. Please have, please have like a three strike rule. I know she probably done like one of those, but you give her oh. a second one. Oh, 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 stop it! Oh no. Since you've made it clear, you won't listen to reason. Not one of my I'll favorites. Make sure you have no arms to kill with! <sighs> do you even listen to when I talk? I'm not the one doing the killing. It's you lot who are- ah! Braced over her fist directly into his stomach. She followed with another blow. And another. And when it looked like she wasn't going to be satisfied until he was dead, I saw it. No. Run of nowhere, a tiny red dot appeared on oh, Grace's God, face. Oh, God, yep. Hey, hey, stop already. There's a- But before we could do anything... Damn. No! God damn it. That was a warning shot, right? No. The sound of a gunshot echoed in our ears. There's no way. Yes! Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, Wait. oh, I crazed her face. Oh, God. Oh, okay, oh, cool. warning shot. Let's go. Oh, okay, we're good. We're in the clear. Let's go. Because that's not where the dot was. <laughs> no. Grace released the man from her grip. Speechless, she moved her hand to her cheek, which had been nicked by the stray bullet. Had us in the first half, not gonna lie. Oh, God. They knew what they were doing. Yes. <laughs> Bastards. Whoa. Mommy? Mommy? Whoa. We all looked in the direction the shot came from. The shooter stood silently by the pillar, a trail of smoke rising from the, from the mouth of her rifle. Her mask. The design was a panther instead of a goat, but it was clear that she was working with him. She looks dope. <laughs> yes. Y you shot at her. For real? This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Everyone slowly backed away from Tozu, suddenly fearful for their lives. <coughs> <coughs> what a, what a shocking and unnecessary display of violence. You think? Display of violence. You think? <laughs> I was talking about the golfer woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you've become acquainted with our enforcer, Mara, if any of your kids... Try to jeopardize the killing game, such as by attacking me. She'll be there to put an end to your shenanigans. Me. Even though she misses her oh, shots. Dude, don't test her. It was just a warning. I assure you it'll be unwise to further test her sharpshooting ability. In any case. Sharpshooter. Regardless, I finally have an answer to your previous question. Meh? You asked me if I knew anything about my friends besides their names and talents. No Truthfully, I don't. But I'll continue to trust them as if I do. Because they're ultimates. Huh? <laughs> they are charged with the betterment of society. They prove themselves to be a simple, to be above simple acts of self-interest. We will not succumb. Even if you trap us, fire guns at us, and force us to endure f farcical courtroom procedures. <sighs> He's right. Grace is trying to compose herself, still clearly shocked by her run-in with death. Yeah. Test me. No matter how weird these guys are, they're talented. Do you really think an ultimate would fall for this bullshit? Uh... That's right, my friends and I have too much to live for and too much to achieve. We won't throw all that away for our kill for your killing game. Don't get it mixed up. We're all going to escape. We have to. One by one, <laughs> the students raised their voices in solidarity with Wolfgang. All of them were so confident in what they were saying, so willing to blindly put their faith in each other. And for some reason, it made me sick. My my. Never underestimate the strength of human connection. I am quite familiar with this idea. Hi. What kind of captain would I be if I can't even handle a small crew of 15? What is this horrible feeling of contempt? This is why motives are a thing. Why do I feel this out? way when everyone else seems so hopeful? The voice inside me was answered by another. No. You've got it all wrong. The students turned their attention towards Ava, surprised by her words. Ah. Huh? Do you actually believe no one here will try to kill? <clears throat> You're really naive. I don't know how you made it as a lawyer. Uh, well, instead of resorting to random ad hominem attacks, why don't you explain your reasoning? It's the truth. It's obvious. Compared to normal people, ultimates are more prone to killing, not less. Living with constant praise from the public has ruined our sense of self. If you need examples, just look around the room. What a joke. Excuse me? Look. In the outside world, ultimates will do anything to further their own goals. The same is probably true here. Once you realize your dreams can only be achieved if you escape, you'll resort to murder. Can't you see? If you continue to convince all of these people to trust each other, they'll only be more vulnerable. Unless that was your plan all along. Is it possible you want to make everyone vulnerable? So that it will be easier for you to kill them? Uh, that's... That's enough. Yeah, that. Suddenly, Ingrid stepped in front of Wolfgang protectively. Wolfie's done nothing wrong. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> He's given all of us a vote of confidence. Uh, um... Yeah, it's something we all needed. Please? S so stop trying to turn us against each other, p please? The horrible feeling grew stronger as the other students admonished Ava. Grew stronger and stronger. And I knew I had to say something. <sighs> Ava's right. Huh? No! Damon, not you too! Oh, no. Look, I get it. You want to make the situation less scary for everyone. <laughs> but Ava made a good point. All of us have a clear motivation to leave this place, even at the cost of other people's lives. Whether it's to see our families again, or for the sake of our talents. Don't say that! 
No, I would never kill anybody. Diana, you yourself admitted you had too much to achieve. Don't you see how that's playing into the masked man's hands? Me? <laughs> Shit. No, I did this. You're not masked man. You're mask man. It's a I difference. Know, I know. Let me have my moment. <laughs> I know. I'm ruining your moment. This whole we're all ultimates thing is pretty inane anyways. After meeting all of you, it's clear none of us have the same goals. Hold on. What are you insinuating? Don't we all carry the same obligation to improve the world we live in? His question angered me more than anything that had been said before. I could no longer suppress my true feelings. That's oh wrong. Look, the title barely means shit nowadays. Look, the title <laughs> barely means shit nowadays, all right? Most ultimates are just dullards obsessing over some pointless hobby. Their talents don't contribute anything of worth. The only thing they're capable of is leeching off public attention for their own goals. Uh, Ouch. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Running a business that feeds millions is pointless? Oh. Some of you are an exception, obviously. But come on, there's no way the rest of you can improve the world we live in with your niche fixations. That was very... Don't you mean rest of us? You're an ultimate too. Yeah. Hey, what the hell makes you so special? I can feel the words worming their way into my soul. What makes you so special? I, I... Well, I can actually achieve many things with my talent. I can argue policy, consider ethics and morality. Yeah. Better yet, I was the one who got you guys through that trial. Really? Is that really what happened? I remember all of us helping Shrimp. out. <laughs> Yo, I see what's going on. You think you're better than us just because you can say words nobody understands. Well, that's kind of... That kind of stuff is, is relative. Like, tell me who Dragster is. Do you know? No. But watch your step lest you trip and fall from the unparalleled heights of your vanity. Not good enough. I'm disappointed in you. How are you so concerned about making yourself look good when we're in the middle of a death game? Ow. Wait, I, I wasn't trying to... <sighs> it was no use. They turned against me, hurling obscenities, scowling, or simply shaking their heads. Isn't this lovely? <laughs> <laughs> Twice since anger, hatred, unquenchable sense of blood thirst. Well, save that for later. I'm the only person who can spill blood in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. The elevator will take you back to the killing game arena. You've cleaned up the crime scene and prepared a dorm room for each of you. Get lost. Thanks. Now can you get lost? Good evening. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you return to his podium with the masked woman trailing close behind. The bizarre mechanism that brought him into the room lowered the two of them into the ground and out of sight. Huh. Hey. Still, we're not going to kill anyone, right guys? I'm going to murder all of you. <laughs> No matter what happens, we're all going to make it out of here, okay? It was only when the madman left that reality truly began to set in. Good. I'm trapped in a killing game with people who despise me. Ow. How did this happen? I just wanted to help. I wanted to make sure we didn't trust each other too easily. And now I'm being treated like the bad guy. Will these people practice what they preach? Will they really refuse to kill? I can't trust anyone here. For better or for worse, it's me versus them. So cued to beginning of the end. Dude, that's the opposite of what normal the protagonist it, normally has. I know. It's 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 a fresh chase of fresh change of pace. Fresh chase of pain. <laughs> <laughs> a fresh chase of pain. I've got, I can't. The beginning of an unfathomable nightmare. An unrelenting despair. Hey, you said it! <laughs> the beginning of the killing game. Ooh. It's clever. Yeah. <laughs> it's loud, too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'll let it do its thing. Show me the intro. Damon Matsu, Ultimate Debater. <laughs> Ava Tanaka, Ultimate Liar. Desmond Hall, Ultimate Marksman. <laughs> Eloise Tomer, Ultimate Fencer. Toshiko Koyer, Ultimate Matchmaker. So loud. When, uh, yeah. Oh, that went fast. Ultimate Story. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Dan, no, no, go. Wolfgang. <laughs> Jam to us. Yeah, it is. You're alive, thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whew. 
And that, everyone, was the prologue of Project Eden's Garden. It was. It was a hell of a prologue. Yes, it was. Woo-wee. That was woven by stitches and needles. Ooh, there's so much art. Like, how did they pump out all this art? Uh, well, they've been working on it for a long-ass time. That would make sense. If I remember correctly, I think that at least when the original creator before he got a whole team behind it and everything i think the work on this started like five or six years ago Dang. and it was like two or so years ago that they really started getting the nitty-gritty like two or three years ago they started getting people on the team and stuff and now they've got a whole cast of all kinds of people right now mm. but um yeah that was the prologue um i need to learn more information on because obviously this is all they have available and ready um, I know they're trying to work on things fast. And I think they're going to release it in a chapter wise manner just because of the fact that like, I know some people don't like when games release things in chapters that the game's not entirely complete, yeah. but when it comes to an indie game like this, like you're working off of a very small group of people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like you see, like all these names are on here, but realistically the same name is repeating in all of these things in yeah. script and scenario because you're doing multiple jobs at once. You're your own programmer, your own play tester, all those kinds of things. And to get your game out into the world, it could take, you know, they've already spent five or six years to get to this point. It would take another couple of years to get it to the end where you can instead give it to people in little pieces as you have it ready and solidly behind okay, it. Okay, they had a solid art team. Yes, they got they got everything correct on this. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I don't know many other Dunkerapa fan games. I've seen bits and pieces of one of the other big ones is like a uh, Dunkerapa another. Mm. Um, but from the screenshots that I've seen, um, I believe it was made in. Um, RPG maker if I'm correct oh and like it's doing its best to replicate the style but obviously that has limitations yeah I don't know exactly how whereas it these works. people did it from scratch <laughs> they have done the best that they can to replicate Spike everything off. about it yeah because I, I think I've seen a couple because there are a lot of fan games out there fan guns if you will mm -hmm. the official term and there are some that have tried to do like mimicking the style, style similarly. They'll ha find artists that are good at replicating the Danganronpa style. Um, and they mimic uh, the, what I'm trying to put, like the UI very well, but they do it in kind of like a visual novel maker yeah. engines. So you don't really get like where the class trial has everything flying around or the 3D adventuring and investigating the crime scenes. Those kind of things aren't often found in fan games because it takes so, a it's lot more of like, work and so it's more like the free time events where you're just talking to people then. Well, the game still progresses like a Donkey Kong. Yeah, yeah, game yeah, one, yeah. I know. But it's limited by the engine yeah. with the people that are making it. Because like I couldn't make anything like this because I don't have enough no. programming wherewithal to do it. Because I mean I've been thinking of trying to make games before, but it would be, you know, mm -hmm. limited to like fucking visual novel esque ones. Cause I've tried learning various and engines. I can draw. I'm just <laughs> not good at it, and I don't have the time to dedicate myself to learning all the programming to using like Unity, which I think this was built in Unity, if I'm correct. Yeah. I've tried using all them. I am a fucking lost cause. Oh yeah, I remember you. you had a, Everyone you had here a whole, is so much more talented. You had a whole phase with wanting to make a game before. I, I still remember. have the phase, and I still <laughs> I. I kind and I was of saying, hey, I can make sprites. I kind of have been working, wanting to work on something in the background. I don't know. So, anyways. Well, not like 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 pixel sprites, but you know. Well, I mean. yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I know what you mean, but um. Thank you, everybody, for watching us play the prologue of Project Eden's Garden. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a trip. Um, whenever the rest, whenever the next uh, step of this game comes out, we will be here. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting with open arms, open ears, and open hearts, and open tear ducts, ready for the tears to <laughs> Honestly. flow. Honestly. Bro, I thought we lost it all there at the beginning. I know, Grace. I thought 
I thought God. the prologue was already going to break my heart too much. They had us, dude. They had they us. They had us. They knew what they were doing. And you know what? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because it worked. <laughs> it worked. If that was anyone else, I would have been fine. But just the no, fact that it was her. not anyone. Literally, if it was Wolfgang, I would be like, do it. Do it. No! I just, I don't like him. Why? I don't trust him. Why? Well. I mean, that's I, evident. I also have a lot. I had an idea that I was like, oh, maybe it's a bit too much. So, you know, now that we're at the end of this, we'll have theory talk. The music. <laughs> but um, I don't know if you noticed, but all of the characters, there's some that I haven't been able to spot off to look at like official character artwork that I've avoided at this point. Uh -huh. But all of the characters have animal motifs on them. Like our protagonist, his tie has a snake on it. Oh, I didn't notice um, that. Eloise has a swan clip in her hair. I didn't notice that either. Um, Jet Dawson has the wolf on his chest. Yeah. They all have things that represent animals. Um, and Wolfgang has a sheep pen. Now, a sheep doesn't really match anything about what he was going on for. And I thought that maybe it's an artistic way of putting forward wolf and sheep's clothing. Huh. You think too like, much. <laughs> maybe I do, but I'll, I mean, it almost felt weird to me that you were so behind him. Like he was, for being a stranger of the situation, he was getting way too intense for what was happening. Way too emotional, way too drastic on it. It didn't make sense to me. I don't trust him and I don't like him. I'm biased. I'm sorry for all the Wolfgang. Like, I don't dislike him as a character. Really. He's a well-written character. I'm just saying is the perspective of like getting yourself in depth in the world. Of all the characters that I don't trust, his is the most untrustworthy, in my opinion. Boy, we're going to be button heads the whole time then. That's the fun of it. Until something goes wrong that proves one of us right, I don't trust him. I'm just putting that out there. You're already digging your own grave. <laughs> okay. I thought it was very clever how, um, who was it that, pi I think it was Ava who piped up and was like, oh, you're doing this in kind of creating this form of trust that makes it easier for us to all fall apart. And I was like, exactly, exactly. I think it was Ava who said it. Exactly, it was, Ava. Yeah. See, ironically, for her being the ultimate liar, I trust her. But you know what? I always trust the ultimate liars. Kokichi, my son, forever. <laughs> I was going to say, that sounded really painful. <laughs> oh, do we have a, a new, versus. do we have a new son yet? <sighs> or daughter? I don't know. I'm trying to get because this is only an introduction to the characters. Trying to understand more <laughs> on always them. always the gremlin. <laughs> like, I thought about it. I don't know. I don't think there's going to be a son or daughter this time. There's only, no. there, The only person that would make sense to fit in that one would be, like, would be gremlin. <laughs> that goes to show that she hasn't quite worked her way up to daughter. We don't have a name for it. We don't, we don't remember <laughs> I her don't name. I don't remember her name. It begins with a T. Or was it K? It was both. Because it was think. said backwards at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, while I make a <laughs> fool of myself. Thank you all for watching. I've been this again a million times. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Have a great morning, day, afternoon, evening, evening night, night. Whatever it whatever is. Whatever it may yep. be for you around the world. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.